Hello and welcome back to MFC TV, proudly sponsored by MH Girls. It's episode two and we have a week under our belts with the Champions League preparation. And this week we're joined by Rafe and Edgy. Welcome Hi, guys man. and welcome back, Edgy. Thanks for having us back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reach over. Yeah. But how are you guys both feeling now? A week under our belts. Are you quite confident with the way things are going? Uh, yeah, I think, um, I mean, we're back in the trenches now, um, training. Uh, a lot of 2v2s, a lot of intensity, so hopefully, you know, by the time we get to the Champions League, you know, we're all match fit and ready to go. Absolutely. I know, Eddie, you've been sunning it up in Lanzarote, if I'm right, so you might not know a little bit about the last week, but from what you've heard from the team, is everyone kind of up in their game? Yeah, from what I've seen on the videos as well, people seem to be putting the work in. Um, I've just been relaxing, you know, not doing too much. No little beach runs? I've been doing a few beach runs, to be fair. To, to be honest, I think I'm more fit now from the beach runs, <laughs> so I'm, uh, I've been putting the work in anyway. So from what you guys have seen and Rafe yourself playing, the Wrexham game, let's jump straight onto that. Obviously a 7-2 win, a great start for a pre-season friendly, but from a player's perspective, how do you think it went? Um, it was good, yeah. I mean, you know, a few of us are rusty coming back into it, but I'm sure, you know, once we get playing, training, um, you know, the rust will go away. Everybody will be ready to go. Um, lots of touch on the ball, fitness. It was good, so yeah, uh, good victory. They definitely look like a lot of chances, but do you think there's a lot to take away from this now? It's three weeks until Champions League that you guys are going to implement into training. Uh, yeah, 100%. I think uh, intensity is key. Um, I think when it comes to the Champions League, uh, we'll be quite intense. Um, so, yeah, it's just, just good to get back into it, get that intensity going again, be ruthless. And yeah, ready to go. Amazing. Well, let's have a quick check at how that vlog went. Morning, everyone. Jake here, back. We're back in the mix now with a match day vlogs. Uh, first game of pre-season, we are playing Wrexham, which i never played before. I think we've never played before, but I'm really looking forward to obviously getting back on the court in a competitive, you know, in a competitive match. Just get some minutes in the legs as well, get the match fitness in. So obviously, yeah, we, I think we're all looking forward to that. Training's been good this week. You know, we're just getting back into, into things because, you know, we've not got long now, so obviously the Champions League kicks off. Um, so this morning, forgot to film, had my eggs on toast, my rocket fuel, so that'll do me for until the match now. Might have a little little squares bar or something if that's going on in the changing rooms. Um, but yeah, going to head down there, kick off about half one. So yeah, just a quick one as well. Wanted to get everyone's views on these bad boys because I've been taking a lot of stick for the old uh, orange and blue umbros at training, even though Danny... Seems to come in like these bright pink boots, which don't match anything. At least these match my hair and the blue matches the kit. So I'm always thinking. Um, but yeah, if they, you know, if we get a couple of goals in them today, and who knows, maybe they'll stay for the Champions League, but we'll see. But yeah, I'll catch you down there. Right, they just have a fart as well. Edgy's not here today. So done a quick little detour to Morrison's to find some squares bars, some tank fastics. Unsuccessful. Wasn't my usual Morrison, so I didn't know the layout. Not gonna lie, could not find them, and I'm in a rush. So, unfortunately, for some reason, no tank fastics either. So I had to settle for the for the jelly babies. But do you know what? At least the fort were there. At least the fort were there. All right, game done. Uh, back home now. Decent little game to be fair. I think we won six, seven, two, eight, two, something like that. But yeah, scores relevant. Just um, good to get minutes in the legs back in the. Uh, competitive game so yeah that's me signing off anyway uh, get back to training Tuesday obviously Dublin next week so looking forward to that but yeah I'll see you in the next one Edgy I'm going to have to bring up a little story here that you've just told us in our little break your 5k race in three minutes yeah I did a it was a good time really um, <laughs> I went for a run on the beach front on, in Lanzarote um, I was coming through the town centre and as I was coming through the town centre the crowd was gathering, there was more people looking at me and I was like, it's, it was getting a bit weird. Like, few looks at the start, it was okay, but when the crowd started building I didn't really know what was going on. And as I came into the finish point of my 5k, I, I realised I came over the finish line of the Lanzarote 5k going on that day. So, I've set a new record, like country <laughs> record, I'm pretty sure. So, three minutes is not bad. Did you get a medal? I didn't, I got a lot of weird looks instead. Um, yeah. They were looking at me like, uh, what is this guy doing? You know, like professional, had the numbers, <laughs> like uh, all the glasses on, and I just came through this one English dude sweating. MFC I, gear or what? Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> MFC yeah. gear was on, yeah. So at least we've yeah. the scene is out Repping there the as brand. well. Yeah, exactly. So going a little bit further on, I know we haven't spoken since the final episode of last season. 
So how are things been? How are things settled in for yourself in terms of now realising you're hosting Champions League? Yeah, I think I still think some players and some people don't really understand how big of a like moment this is, especially for just futsal in the UK in, in general. Like to host the Champions League, it's the biggest European competition for the sport. So um, just to even host it is like a huge achievement. Um, I think people should be excited. I, I think for players, it's more about the, the game that like don't get the moment get to you really in the, at the like at the time. But I think. Even for myself, I think it's still taken a, a while to take in, like the step up from the league to the Champions League is massive. So um, we just need to be very on court as well as off court mentally. Do you think there's going to be any shocks and any challenges ahead? Yeah, I think for some players like myself and like Danny Miles, um, there's, there's players in the team who've played international games. Um, there's a few players who haven't played international games. I think the shocks of the standard from league, like the National League to like competitive, like internationally is like a huge difference I think that's going to be the biggest shock I think the game this weekend against Dublin is going to really help because um, they've had Champions League experience before they've they played against Bloomsbury so it's good to see the, the level against them last season um, but yeah I think it will come as a shock for some but I think especially having the players like I said who have had that it's good to have them in to get the other players up to scratch and where we should be absolutely and how about for you Rave how are you feeling now going into the next three weeks uh, to be fair, I'm confident. Uh, I've got faith and belief in all the lads. I think they're all dedicated, uh, all ready to go. Um, I think people are doing their own stuff in the background to make sure that they're fit uh, and ready for the competition ahead. Um, so, yeah, I think this week coming will be uh, a good test to see where we're at and hopefully we can take that into the Champions League. And what does it mean to you guys hosting? I think it's massive, um, especially, you know, in the UK. Um, it'll be good to get all of our fans behind us. Um, but yeah, I think it's you know generally good for the sport in the UK. Yeah, I think if we were to go away, it's very easy for us to just get on the plane, go to a different country, experience what it's like there for a few days and come back. But to actually host it here and people, even like friends and family, even people just in Manchester in general can actually come and witness it. It's a very rare experience, like I said, it's never happened before. So it's a once, at the moment, once in a lifetime thing for most people. So. Yeah, it's like a huge opportunity for us and the people of Manchester. And do you think hosting is not only doing more for the club, but bringing more for futsal in England as a whole? Yeah, I think for us doing this, this just shows how futsal is improving in the country. For for Manchester to be able to do, to do this shows how much we've grown, and then obviously us growing then should have a knock-on effect on how everyone else should be growing as a team and then as a country as well. So I'm going to quiz you a little bit. Ticket sales. I love how you're passing this over to Rafe here. <laughs> where, if someone wants him to come and buy tickets, to come and see you guys play for Champions League, where will they find it? Uh, the Manchester Futsal Club shop, isn't it? <laughs> Is that right, Eddie? Manchesterfutsalshop.com, that's the one. And yeah. what's one key thing that Ilya's been alliterating to us? Oh. He's got behind the camera, I don't know. <laughs> you're getting stared down yeah, now. I mean, I've not been here. You've had a clue there. <laughs> I didn't even know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot buy tickets on the door. You've got to buy them online. Oh, okay. there, there we go. go. Well, let's move on to Crossbar Challenge and check out how the guys are doing. This week we have Miles and Salim taking on the MH Goals Crossbar Challenge. Now, this is actually our first time having a keeper, but let's remind ourselves of the rules. Now, same as always, they get three opportunities from the six meter mark. And there's a point system with a total of 15 points up for grabs. Now you can get these with one point for the net. You get two for the side post, three for the crossbar, and a whopping five for the corner. So first up, it's Miles. Do I not need to get the ball? Are we, what, surely we've got three balls lined up so I don't have to walk and get it. Okay, okay. So we've got the crossbar challenge today, me and Miles. Well, we don't even get a practice. Um, so what is it? Miles, are you the first keeper to do it? Yeah. Yeah, first keeper to so do what? it. So what? Three for the crossbar. One for the goal. Okay. Two for the side post. Three for the crossbar. If you get the corner, it's five. So total 15 points up for grabs. Hmm. All right, okay. I'm going to have to go for the corner, innit? Go on, then go for it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure yet. First take. Here we go. Right, let's go. 
straight in the goal. Just I'll let right. the ball so come back. I'll let the ball come You're back. On the leaderboard. One point. I'm on the same points as Wraith now. Yeah. Alright, second goal. Oh, I'm not in the frame. Oh. Straight in the middle again. Alright. Right, well, I know points. where I'm going this You're time. You're now. I think it's this microphone. It's putting me off. Ah. Right. What an interesting excuse. Top bins. Was. Oh, my God. Mate, that's far awful. From, far from top bins. Awful. Three points, though. Yeah, that's fine. Surely mid-table. Mid-table. Now it's Salim's turn. Come on, Salim. Rough. Rough start from me. Too much talk. Too much talk. Just a disclaimer, <clears throat> I injured my knee on Sunday, so... Expect big, big things. Come on, Three Salim. Three to me, okay. Uh, is that cheating? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna win this one. See, you've done it wrong there. You should've but just put, it let it go in the goal and it just rolled back to you. So even if I get the b both in the goal now, I'll still be below you. Yeah. So I got to go for it. You get a crossbar now. Don't worry. I got to go for this it. This is actually harder, isn't it? It's that microphone. Why does it feel I'm so far you? as well when you're doing it? I know that microphone put me off. You need jealous. Oh my oh. god, it's terrible. Squeaky bum time now. No, I'm gonna have to go for the corner now. You got to do something now. You got to pull something out of the bag. Oh, that was the post. <laughs> I didn't call it as well. I didn't call it as well. Yeah, Corner. As well. Yeah, that was pretty nice to be fair, Sally. <laughs> what, what are we classing that as? That, oh. So what's that five? Is that the first, first person to do it? Ah, oh, still below. Still first below. person right, to do right. that as well. Uh, yeah, Ilya cheated though, innit? <laughs> And how has all this affected the scoreboard? Well, Salim has slipped into second place, drawing with Uriel with 6 out of 15. Not much has happened in the middle of the table, but Miles has taken a joint 5th place with Matty with his 3 out of 15. Now, this is getting really competitive, but no one seems to break that 7 mark. So, crossbar challenge. Miles and Salim have just gone. Granted, right at the time of this filming, they haven't actually done it, so we don't technically know their scores. But, Edgy, you're still topping the table with 7 out of 15. Yeah, I have um, I was speaking to Miles about it before because he's already been talking about it, running his mouth. <laughs> um, I've already claimed. I, I know what he's done already, so you've just watched it. He's hit the crossbar, missed, got one point, got four points. I know Ooh, it. Do you know what? If this is right, I'm going to be a little bit concerned oh, yeah, about your future telling here. Uh, it's 100%. So. I know I've got it right. I've already told him, so I'm already in his head. <laughs> so. It's all a mental battle, isn't it, mm. this pressure? But, Rafe, you won it last week. Harder than it looks? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, what did you get? Uh, one, two. <laughs> well, I, I got a skimmer in it, but apparently we don't take skimmers. Um, we didn't hear it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, got, I got one point. Um, yeah, hit the back of the net, I guess. I guess that's what the goal is here. Um, but yeah. The thing is, my tactic would be, if I just hit all three straight down the middle, it's three points and I wouldn't be bottom. You, know? ah, you gotta go big or go home, I reckon. Oh, go that big is or go true. Home. So talking go big or go home, the next week coming up, obviously got training tonight, training Thursday, Dublin on Sunday. How are you guys feeling? Uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm looking forward to the competition. Uh, they've had Champions League experience before, so it'll be good to see what they're like and, of course, take that into the Champions League ourselves. And I know you guys are going to do three 20-minute sections instead of just the normal two 20-minute halves. What is the purpose of that? What Let everyone know. Again, the intensity, uh, building that fitness, getting match fit, ready to go. Yeah, it also gives us opportunities to try like three different sections. We could try three different scenarios. Like we could try different things. Um, Dublin are a good team to do it against as well. I've been looking them up. Um, good Champions League experience. Good individuals. They play with a pivot at times. So, yeah, it's a good team to try out against for, to see where we're at to see what we need to improve on especially because we've got three weeks now it's not a lot of time so uh, it's a, one of the better opponents that we could play at the moment to um, see where we're at because if i'm right champions league teams are ranked into four different categories aren't they so we're number three and blue magic are number two if i'm correct so how how does that all work yeah so you get different coefficient rankings so i think if we didn't host i think we would have been four because we've never been in the competition before. Um, so we went into three because we're, I, I believe, 
the points give us like from hosting is like puts you into the third. Blue Magic, I think they qualified like most years and nearly every year in, from Ireland, so they've got good coefficient points, so they go into second. So the more coefficient points you get, the higher you go at the tally, and then if you get past more coefficient points to the top bit, you go straight to main round, so that's how it goes. And you can go from main round to elite round. So we're just at the start, but we're making our way up slowly. You think it's going to be a start of a very successful journey, hopefully? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I think especially the group of players that we have, we're a very young team, like compared to a lot of futsal teams. Like some of our eldest players in the team are around 27, 28. So it's a very young team. Um, a lot of Manchester lads, a lot from the area, especially. So like you would imagine that a lot of them will stay for many years. So it's a good bunch of players are very eager to learn. Like they've got coaches in like Sam, who's like very eager to like learn more himself and then teach the players. So I think this is, Great for now. Like we're in a project at the minute that's going to be the next four weeks, but this is a whole project that's going to take 10, 15, bigger 20 picture. years. This is a definitely a bigger picture. This is just the start of the bigger picture. Amazing. So going into coaching-wise, this Tuesday and Thursday, how are these sessions going to look like? Um, I think we'll have a game plan going into the game. Um, again, I think it'll be really intense, um, trying to get the lads ruthless again, get an eye for goal. Um, and yeah, just, just building up to that game. Amazing. Well, I'm going to leave that to you for you guys. I know it's going to be a really exciting week. Plane journey as well, so you know, a little bit of an abroad feeling, even though it is only Ireland across the coast. But I hope you guys have a fabulous time and wish you the best of luck as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. But for now, we'll see you guys later. Yeah.